Hello, it's Kimberly with, oh my god, my canvas is blank. I'm very excited to be doing this, although I have to admit this feels really strange, but I am working on accomplishing one of the biggest dreams um, I've ever had in my life, and I decided to get this crazy idea that I was going to take my rags to riches story life. So here I am. Um, I am an entrepreneur. Uh, I work a part-time job um, at Taco Bell. I'm a counter person there. And um, I have been researching and researching and practicing and practicing. And I decided that it was time to take my stuff, quit researching, quit talking and start walking my talk. So here it is guys, I'm gonna go live for the next 360 days with, oh my God, my canvas is blank with Kimberly A. Whitaker. So you have to bear with me because this is a kind of a audio working creative art. So I'm very excited, like I said before, and I know I don't have very many people to start off with. Actually, I don't have anybody to start off with. <laughs> Funny, um, I didn't really mark it. I just wanted to kind of just get this idea of mine from my head into action. So here we are. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm saying um a lot, but as time goes, we will see the caterpillar turn into the butterfly and take flight. Um, I hope you'll join me with my 360 days of, oh my god, my canvas is blank. Um, you can also reach me at Kimberly's Desert Rose via Skype. Uh, you can also reach me at www.desertrose.com brain entrainment and botanical.com I'm also available via www.facebook.com forward slash Kimberly A. Whitaker I have a like page um, oh my god my canvas is blank um, is what I named it and I actually started that page because I was involved in an automobile accident last April, April 1st, about 10.42, p.m. My mom had just came, picked me up from work, and we were on our way home, and she never takes the freeway, um, and this time she decided she was going to take the freeway, and about from about maybe eighth of a mile into it, out of nowhere, there it was. Boom! And all I saw was the cement divider in the highway, and the next thing I remember is we're upside down, and I'm thinking to myself, oh God, don't let me fall out of this car, oh God, don't let me fall out of this car. And when I crawled out, um, it was dark and I was very disorientated and um, my mom, my mom, oh my gosh, my mom, I was thinking, oh my God, we're in the dark, we're on the freeway and someone's going to hit us. And I crawled out and um, I have to tell you that burst of adrenaline was, whoa, I had never, I could probably have picked that car up. But I remember thinking I was on the other side of the freeway, and I wasn't, um, but there were cars coming, I saw the lights, and I remember standing on the other side of the car where my mom was at upside down, and she was sitting in antifreeze, um, and I remember asking her, are you okay, and she said, yeah, I'm okay, and then on the lights, I looked up and I saw car lights. And they were coming, and they were coming faster, and you have to understand this was all happening in the millimeter of a second, and wasp, it was like slow motion. Um, it was fast forward as fast as you could get, but slow at the same time. And um, I remember the car lights just getting closer and closer and closer, and 
I remember thinking to myself, oh my God, if this is it, I left my kids um, not taken care of and I'm never going to get to meet Mohammed. And as I saw the lights get closer and closer and closer, I sucked in a deep breath and I held it thinking, this is it, this is it. And as they got closer really fast, but in slow motion, the car went between our car and that cement divider. And it barely tapped our car. I could hear it go by, and I heard it. But at the same time, my attention got drawn to the cement side of the divider. Um, where I could hear the metal just running against it. I could see sparks flying and as that car went through that space, that tiny little space, where if it had been a bigger car we'd have been in trouble or a truck, um, I watched it go and I thought it was going to flip and I remember releasing my breath thinking, oh my God, I'm alive. I'm going to leave it at that today. Um, I'm probably gonna I mean I this is my first time doing anything like this and I have some big goals some big hopes some big dreams thank you for staying with me Wow <laughs> this was crazy I love it um, I look forward to my 360 days with all of you and um, my hopes my dreams your hopes your dreams I want to inspire you to realize that no matter what the odds, if you have the right mindset and you have the vision in place, you can conquer all odds. God bless you. Blessings. Namaste. Thank you for joining with me, Kimberly, with Oh My God, My Canvas is Blank.